So this is Professor BRB. This playlist is going to take a project in Adobe InDesign from start to finish. And in the process of doing this project, we're going to learn a great many things about Adobe InDesign. Our project will be a typographic sample book, uh, like the one that you see here. Uh, it's going to have several elements, uh, a title of a font, line samples of how that font looks in different sizes, a large character sample, and a, a assortment of special characters and non-English characters, some text samples down here, and then you can create a little logo for yourself, and then it'll have a running footer with your name and a page number. This is an example completed by one of my students last semester. And if we look in the pages palette here, you can see that the book has many pages, and each of these pages is devoted to a different typeface. The purpose for doing this sort of project is that anybody who has ever designed for print is aware that sometimes the way the type looks on the screen is not exactly the way that it's going to look when you print it out. And we've all had some unpleasant surprises of printing something else that looked great on the screen and then going, oh my goodness, the type is too big, it's too small, it doesn't look the way that I expected. So every graphic designer has a book like this somewhere where they've actually printed out uh, the various typefaces in their type library on paper so that they can see how it's going to look. Um, we will also, uh, in this project, be learning to use the Adobe InDesign table of contents feature to generate a table of contents for us. There are many advantages to learning to use the table of contents feature uh, and one of those is if you choose to um, export your project as a PDF as uh, my student Franco has done here uh, each, mem uh, each item in the table of contents becomes a hyperlink or a live link, and Adobe InDesign does this work for you. You don't actually have to do it yourself. And you can see here, if I click on my little bookmarks thing in Acrobat, this is an Acrobat interactive file, that I have hyperlinks for every page in the document which is really very cool. And it's a good idea to learn to do this because if you ever aspire to do um, ebooks or any other kind of electronic delivery of your work, um, learning to use the table of contents feature will form a very good foundation for you to learn more advanced methods of developing interactive documents.